Um, as far as our fleet update, um, so Whalen has completely finished one vehicle. Uh, this week, Whalen is uh, outside the state of Connecticut at a very large uh, training show, um, vendor show rather. When they come back, there's a plan on how they're going to be doing hopefully a car a day uh, to finish in wiring in um, some things like our uh, AR-15 or a less than lethal rifle rack, which obviously is paramount to officer safety before it's on the road. Um, so Sergeant Gardner has transferred some licenses uh, from cars that are no longer usable to the cars that will be first deployed. Uh, my plan is with NextGen uh, to bring in an officer who's off duty uh, and just send that person on the road to do some data checks around the town. Um, you know, if they see a motor vehicle uh, violation, go ahead and stop that car. We'll be able to check the processing of e-ticket and e-warning and make sure all the systems in the car are complete. Um, I don't know if you picked up on it uh, in Sergeant Gardner's presentation. Our cars themselves have their own network. So your house has a network. Every one of our cars has its own network. And so when there's multiple <laughs> cars on scene, uh, they actually talk to each other now. So the lights that we have will actually talk to each other while they're on scene. So if you're a person driving up on an accident scene, there won't be all these crazy lights going crazy. All the lights on our police cars will be synchronized which will be easier on someone's eyes as they approach the scene, less blinding, more uh, visual alertness for the oncoming uh, vehicular operator. Uh, but again, that's all a computer system um, that we're working with uh, Whalen and, and Sergeant Gardner on. So uh, lots of stuff, but my hope is to at least get one car uh, on the road uh, next week, and then they should certainly come uh, on board very quickly after that. Uh, and then once we have confidence in the vehicles, that's when I'll begin decommissioning and uh, proceeding with the auctioning um, that, that we spoke about. One of the things that I'd like the commission to think about, um, I would love to get your feedback on this. As you know, on the plan, we're retaining four cars that will be primarily used for private duty uh, operations and occasionally used by our school resource officers to park at the school. The question is, is do we want to restrike those cars at about $1,000 a car um, using off budget funds, non taxpayer funds, so that our fleet looks consistent. Everything looks exactly the same uh, with the new schematic. So maybe next meeting we can talk about that in my fleet update thing and, and tell me your, your thoughts on that. I haven't made a decision. Um, I'll be uh, talking with my leadership team about it, but I'd like to get as much uh, input on that before uh, making any type of, of final decisions.